Hey, it's Garth. So today we're going to explore um, Google Sites. So the question is, where would you find a Google Site? Well, we're in our um, drive, and I go to the waffle, and the waffle is probably going to show something called Sites. When you click it, Sites will appear. A lot of people get this, and you're going to say, use the new Google Sites. They're a little bit better. They were updated a long time ago, so I don't know why it still says new. And you're going to create a new site. By clicking the plus. The plus will create for you a new website. Pretty simple there. <clears throat> this tutorial shouldn't take too long because I think I'm just going to go over the basic things of it and show you how to do the basic things. So the first thing is you can change this image up here. You can upload your own images or you can select prefabbed images. This is pretty typical of Google products. You can pick one or you can go out and do searches like you know I can do school and see what pops up. Um, you know, so maybe I want this as my header. So you can pick any header you want, it doesn't matter. Um, it says title of your page, so you can just click and delete. Oops, if I could get in there. All right, I can click that and I can put welcome to Mr. H's class. Whatever you want, it's the title will appear on your page. So that's basic. Um, You've got some options here. You can link it to places like we've done before. You can change the size. Uh, sites is not going to let you do things perfect. Okay. One thing I do like about Sites is this little icon in the bottom, the stars. When you click the stars, it kind of brings the picture, the, bright, the brightness, the way it wants to make it mix. Or you can click it. So you can read the words better, but the, it automatically darkens the picture. It's kind of nice. Ultimately, you can add footers. Footers would appear at the bottom, so this could be like, you know, my email. So if you wanted your email to appear on every page of your website, it would be there. You know, you could also put, put let's say, the school uh, phone. You know, you could put your Twitter if you wanted to do that, whatever. So I could put, you know, at Garth Holman. Now I could link this. We know how to do that. I could link it, but right now I'm just going to leave it. The other way you design a page is you can add things. So text box, you can embed things, you can add images, you can do drive. You have layouts. You want a picture and text, two pictures and text, three pictures and text. One thing I don't like about slides is you can't really control a ton. Like if you pick this, it just puts it in and you say, you know, welcome. Uh, you know, to Mr. Holman's class. Right, but then I want to add an image. So now you click image and it's going to have uh, upload an image. Now again, I'm not real tricky with picking images before I start. So I'm just going to pick a random image on mine, whatever it happens to be, it happens to be. Okay, so I put the digital refrigerator in. Um, once you get these things, this kind of stuff built, that's an image. You can manipulate some of this and so put the text by it. But generally speaking, when you pick a layout, it's set up for you and you can't do too much. So you could add images, um, you could put links in. All right, so I could type, uh, see my slide shell. I can highlight this and still have an image of the slide shell and I can link it. Now the problem is I have to have a link to something. So here's a slide shell. I can take this link and put it back in my slide show and apply. Now I'd have that, right? Same thing, I could screenshot this, like we learned how to screenshot. And now I could upload that from a screenshot. I think that's that image, right? So if you wanted to see the slideshow, I could do that. Or I could embed a slideshow. So let's try that. I can get the URL, put that same URL in, which is that slideshow, right? I don't think that is that slideshow. So let's try that again. I don't know, it's giving me something, so we'll put it in. It's a slideshow. Oh, yeah, it is. So there's that same slideshow. So there's two ways to do it. I could put an image in with a link, or I could put the slideshow directly in my show. I can also upload documents from my drive. So I can go into my drive and upload um, our remembering. Where's our, where's the dance part? You know, let's do it that way. I can search. I can say I want dance party 
and I think I have a document called Dance Party. And so I can insert that. And now that's another way to put a slideshow in. So I've inserted a slideshow. Ultimately, you have to figure out how you want to use pages, right? Before we move, we're going to title it. So I'll call it Test Site. Right? Uh, Google. I can add multiple pages. I only have a home page. Your home page is the landing page where people go the first place. So I'm going to add another page. I'm going to call it um, Materials. So this might be a page I'm going to write materials on. Under advanced, you can make custom pass. I would never do that. Just let it build it. So automatically added that link. Now I'm on that page. Notice my footer came. So I wouldn't ever have to change the footer if I wanted to keep the same footer. The title of my website appears. Now I'm at my materials page. So now I could go back and insert. Well, I want to insert three things, right? I could insert a link to um, our class in our classroom. I could insert a link to teachersfortomorrow.net and I could insert something for um, history today. So the thing I would do now is I don't have links to any of these. I could upload a picture of our classroom website. Right? I could go take it. Notice I could upload a YouTube. So let's see what's on YouTube about um, cards. Let's see if just my name comes up. Okay, so here I was interviewed on TV. Now that's embedded directly in my website. Again, we could do that again. I could, in this case, put a map, and maybe I want to show you where, um, you know, Beechwood Middle School is, which, you know, that's up to you, but I'll just put Beechwood, right? And I'll say select, and that map now appears, so I can insert my map of our school. But you can do a variety of things, right? Again, if you look at the other options, you can do your calendar. So I could put a specific date in my calendar or different information. So your calendar could be embedded. That would need to be a whole section. Another thing you got are themes. It's not real exciting, their themes. They're pretty simple. They don't have a lot. Um, but you can see it changes the text, gives it underlines. That's up to you. You know, you can add more pages. Um, you know, forms. So maybe I have a page where I'm going to do my quizzes. And they're just going to be, you know, Again, I'll go back to insert. I want a text box. A quiz one. All right. So now I've got it. I could link that to a quiz like we learned. Or I could embed. So I could go to um, our teachers for tomorrow. I could look for a form, which might take me a minute. But I'll have to do it this way. So, oh, do an advanced search here, sorry, by uh, form, forms. And now let's search. And so I can embed um, a demo form. This is somebody else's, but I can do it. All right. I don't know what this is, somebody else's form. Okay, so I can take this form that somebody else made, go back to my test site, and put the link in. And it's going to embed that form right into my page. So we can do it one of two ways. I can put a link, or I can actually have the form go. Now this form is created outside of the school. I can't really do it. That's because the share settings aren't set right. But you get the idea. Ultimately, that's it. You have to figure out what you want on your slideshow, or what you want on your website. If we look at the Google website, right, if I go to my pages where I've been building, I've got pages, you know, so on our home page, you can kind of see how I set mine up, right? I got a footer. That footer appears on every single page, right? So I put images in and so on, and then each page, there are different things on that page. That's up to you to decide what you want. But you can see I did a box with text, and then I embedded something. So you kind of get a sense of how it works. The other thing you probably want to be aware of are some of these things. This is undo or redo. So you can undo what you, something you did. I made a mistake. I don't want that form. You can redo it. All right. This is a preview of what it looks like on the web. You can see what it looks like on a phone, what it looks like on a tablet, or what it looks like on the actual web. Um, 
you go back, you can, um, we didn't publish it yet. You can share this. So I can share this with a specific person and they could build with me at the same time. So you can collaborate on a website. I'll leave it at that. You can share that. So I'm going to be done. Oh, by the way, see how it says anyone can, um, where is it? Anyone at Teachers for Tomorrow I need to change that because I need it to be viewable on the web for anyone. That's something we have to always change the setting to. Anyone can find it. And then you have your settings. These are where you want your navigation. Do you want it on the top of the page or the side? If I click that, right, um, it will ultimately, when I get done, right, do I want branded images and logo if you want them? Right, so these are just you can look at. You should notice now these are on the side, right, versus being across the top. That's up to you to decide how you want them. Other settings in here, actually, I tend to like the top for most things. I think it's easier for kids to see unless you get lots of pages. Then you need it a different way. This allows you to, to see your versions, to duplicate it, to report a problem. Now, the only other thing you really need to know how to do is you click Publish. When you publish, it's going to ask for a website. So I'm going to just call it Test Google Class. So it already says, oh, I bet it's that. So it says I can do test class, right? Anyone, do I want, uh, who can view my site? Anyone, right? And I can keep it out of a public search engine. And I click publish. I can view my site, and here's my website. So I go to the home page, and you can see that these things we put in are there. I can click, should go to my slideshow, it does. So I know that presentation works. The slideshow works inside my website, right? And our dance party slideshow works. Notice that my footer's there. I can go to materials, which we didn't do much, but you can see it. The video will play, right? And we don't need to listen to that. There's our map. That's an act interactive map. I can click and go to a larger view and zoom in and see anything I want. And I didn't put anything over here header stayed. The form, you can see, you can build fairly quickly and how you organize is up to you. So that is a quick tutorial, right? This is the address you would send to anybody and that's kind of a wrap on how you do Google Sites.